Now let's get introduced to some of the terminologies related to incident handling. Let's define what is an incident and let's start by defining what is an event. Let's agree first that if you are going to pursue your career as security specialist, most of your time during your job would be reading events. Events are the lines, output lines from the security devices in your organization or in your company, such as the lines produced by the antivirus, by the IDS, by the firewall, all of these are logging some events on their log files and your job would be to read these events, analyze them and correlate them and act accordingly to these events. What is an event? An event is any observable occurrence in a system and or a network, such as Rebooting of a system is an event if it is repeated. Crashing of the system is an event if it is repeated or if it has no observable reasons. Packet flooding within a network, generating unwanted packets within a network is an event. It may be due to normal reasons for increased traffic and it may be due to attack of a virus of a worm over your network. So, the event itself can be due to an incident or can be due to normal reasons, normal increase in, on traffic. So all incidents are composed of events, but we cannot be fooled to say not all events are incidents. The system reboots, the system crashes, the packet flooding within a network, these are events that are observable to us, but it has some normal reasons, some acceptable reasons, so they are not incidents inside our organization. We should focus on a certain type of events that are the events of interest, EOI, the event of interest which are remarkable, which seems to be abnormal, which seems to have malicious software as contribution in it, which seems to be a sign of an attack or something, these are the events of interest and the experienced security specialist detects by first sight what is an event that is normal and what is an event that is an event of interest. To say that this event is an incident, you should determine the cause and the effect. You should determine the attacker and the victim. You should determine the, the malware and the system attack to say that this event is an incident. Signs of an incident. The incident has many signs that could be that an IDS has generated an alert, some unexplained entries in a log file, failed events that is repeated, bad logon events that are repeated for Windows, for email account, for any web account, unexplained new accounts, who created those accounts and for whom are those accounts created. So these are signs of an incident that say that something is wrong and something is not correct going on. The system reboots if it is not due to power failure or due to power failure that is repeated so the system reboots. So we should take care of this sign and determine the cause and the effect to define the complete incident. Poor performance. So the poor performance, the network is slow, the web server is heavy the uh, email accounts are not logging easily. So these are all signs of an incident that could be for normal reasons. So it is, it is a normal event, not an incident, or could be to, due to attack or malicious software, virus worm or malware. So it is here can be defined as an incident. Let's have examples of incidents. Which of the following is an incident? An attacker running NetBio scans against Unix system. An attacker exploiting send mail on a Unix system. A backup tape containing sensitive information is missing. The first two we here say an attacker explicitly and determining the type of the scan, determining the type of the attack. It's in the first, it is NetBio scans. It's in the second, it's exploiting send mail, and we are determining the victim. Here in both lines, it is a Unix system that is being attacked by an attacker through some way, some, some known technique of attacks. So the first two are clear to be incidents and should be addressed and should and you should, as a security specialist, take your defensive techniques against them. But the third one, a backup tape containing sensitive information is missing. You here have a probability that this backup tape is being used, is being restored, is being legitimate, 
legitimately used by the system administrator to restore the information inside it so it can be an incident it cannot be an incident it could be it couldn't be so it is not a an incident or it cannot be defined clearly explicitly as an incident yet you should determine the cause of the missing of this tape why it is missing is it missing by or is it now under the control of legitimate user or is it now under the control of illegitimate user if illegitimate then it is an incident if it is under the control of legitimate user then it is a normal action of restoring some information from this backup tape by this we hope that we are ready now to know about the incident handling steps in the next lecture thank you